Incredibly, even some left-wing commentators are now catching on. And what is the difference between a Democrat and a Socialist? <laughs> I, I used to think there was a big difference. What do you think it is? The difference between... between a Democrat like Hillary Clinton and a Socialist like Bernie Sanders. What's the difference between a, being a Democrat and being a Republican? But what's the, bigger difference? what's the big difference between a Democrat and a Socialist? You're chairman of the Democratic Party. Tell me the difference between you and a Socialist. The, the relevant debate that we'll be having over the course of this, this campaign is what's the difference between I think a Democrat a big and a Republican? I think it's a huge difference. And, she can't answer the question. She just simply can't answer it. And she's the head. Now, on the protection front, even a simple thing like case law, which would mandate incarceration for legal aliens who commit aggravated felonies in America, that defy deportation coming back, 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 back. Even a simple law like that rejected by many liberals. Later in the broadcast, Jesse Waters will confront Senator Dick Durbin. So why, why are liberal politicians against the law that would protect Americans? Makes no sense at all. And would not impede the quest for so-called comprehensive immigration reform. Finally, let's take a look at three cities run by uber liberal mayors. Over the weekend here in New York City, 25 people shot, three of them died. Victims and perps, mostly black. Same thing in Chicago, 40 people shot, three of them died. Baltimore, 15 people shot, five of them died. African Americans, the victims, and the perps primarily. So where is the group Black Lives Matter on that? I guess Black Lives Matter not so much in cities run by liberal politicians who cannot control the streets. No matter how many facts Talking Points presents on the economy, on crime, on foreign policy, on individual behavior, liberals will not admit their philosophy has gone off track. Thus, we have a presidential election coming up in 2016 that will once again pit the liberal philosophy against a traditional one. If facts matter, the election should not even be close. If facts matter.